I lost everything. What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of RC Vlogs. Today we have the FMS PA18 Piper Super Cub and I'm pretty excited about this. It's got inflatable tires and it's, I mean it's a Super Cub, it's cool. If people ask me for a good starter airplane that they can kind of grow with and learn to do some fun things with, this is the answer. The Piper Cub is always the answer. And FMS sent me this to check it out and do a review. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to grab one for yourself and there's a coupon code and everything. But uh, yeah, let's see how it flies. It's a complete ready to fly package. We're using the radio that comes with it. It's got flaps. And yeah. It's a cub, let's see how it flies. It is like completely dead calm, there's no wind. It rolls so gracefully. All right. See how short it wants to take off. Ooh, it must have an easy mode. Yeah, it does. That's fully locked out on the ailerons. It's kind of pitching around. That must be what this switch on the left does. Let's get the flaps back down and see how slow we can get this thing to fly. Not quite that slow. Ballooning pretty hard with the flaps is gonna keep trying to stall. All right, full throttle, flaps off. There we go. We need to trim it down just a hair on the elevator. There we go. Trimmed out pretty good now. It does some pretty good sporty stuff. Let's see what the middle switch does. I'm gonna keep it in the fast and fun one. All right, we're gonna use these tires for a nice bouncy touch and go. All right, well, we have lost a wheel <laughs> and it went in the water. Huh. All right, well, this is gonna make for an interesting landing. I'm gonna just try and keep it rolling on that wheel for as long as I can and get it to slow down. Um, we're gonna back up a little bit so I can use all this space. Yeah, that'll work. There's a very small C-clip that holds the wheel on. Fortunately, it was in the little plastic cover that covers it. All right, round two. Perfect. That is sweet. Ready? Uh, 
Just a little over half throttle there. Still climbing pretty All right, well, the landing gear fix was good. I mean, points for putting it right back here. <laughs> <laughs> it rolls out so much. All right, Sean brought a couple 4S packs, so we're going to give it the old hover test. <laughs> Instantly much spicier. That is a lot of down trim. <laughs> I'm bringing it back as fast as we get. <laughs> okay, so the C-clip came off again. I really want to see if it'll hover on 4S power. 
So now we've created a new game where you try and take off with one wheel and see how long you can keep the wheel on. So Sean's putting a little bit of tape on the end so it'll hopefully just roll out long enough to take off, which thankfully it's a cub, it doesn't have to go very far. But uh, yeah, we'll see. And then I get to do another one wheel landing. You missed another one off camera, but it wasn't as good as the last one, so. I'm glad the one that's in your memory is the passable one. I'm contemplating hand launching it. <laughs> Okay, how long will the wheel stay on? We're gonna prioritize left turns. Wow, it's way, okay, hold on. Oh my God, it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> the way it just falls off like that. It is way spicier on the forehead. Ooh, did you see the wing wiggle? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. All right, that might be a little aggressive. There's the vertical we want. Gone. Oh, <laughs> the flat spin wheel delete. <laughs> It's so far out there. It's coming back. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about the wheel thing pretty much instantly when it started hovering. The flash spin was not the right call in the game of trying to keep the wheel on. Ooh, a little twitchy. I mean, it's a cub, so the fact that it can do that is actually pretty impressive. It's actually climbing. I'd imagine you could just power out of it. Let's test that theory. It does knife edge surprisingly well. Look at that. All right, let's give the old one wheel landing a try. Put full flaps on and I'll catch it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back around. It looks like a three-legged dog. <laughs> Two-legged dog. Not into it. Perfect. <laughs> it's about as good as I think I can get it. Sounds like a dodgeball or like the kickball. Mm. That's not the right way, wheel. Unbelievable. All right, round two. Perfect. All right, well, there you go, guys, the FMS Super Cub. Uh, if you buy one, pull those covers off and make sure those C-clips are holding those wheels on pretty good. But other than that, I don't have anything to complain about. Um, it's got a pretty aggressive ballooning with the flaps on, but what I'm probably going to do is bind this to my, my Spectrum radio and mix in a little bit of elevator with those flaps to kind of combat that a bit. But as you saw on that last takeoff, you don't even really need the flaps to take off. And... It'll come in a little fast if you land it without them, but overall it's pretty sick though. It's even fairly sporty with the 3S pack in there. I also want to put it on floats because I want to fly a plane on water. I've never done it before. Anyway, if you want to get one for yourself, the link in the description below, you can use the discount code Rocket Vlogs for 10% off. And uh, yeah, just a good fun little plane that's, uh, I mean, it's a cub. What else is there to say? It's a super cub. It's cool. Of course it's cool. 
Um, anyway, thanks for watching this RC Vlogs video. Thanks again to FMS for sending me this thing to check it out. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bonus content time. You're actually going to fly it this time. Yeah, because it's not disappearing on me. Flaps, even though we don't need them. Wow, it sounds like a real plane. The ultimate slow. <laughs> That's with the flaps half down. All right, now they're all the way down. It's just staying there. <laughs> it's trying. Ooh. It got so aggressive so fast. <laughs> Ooh. Right in the dirt hole. It's fine. <laughs> the 6S battery doesn't mess around. No, it doesn't. But will it hover? Not bad. Redemption landing, you gotta do better than I did. It was definitely better. Paul Start wants to learn how to fly 3D. And uh, I had an incident with this plane's canopy lock not working, so I snap rolled it really hard and the battery came out so this plane was in way more pieces than this at one point you can kind of see my uh, my dad glued it back together so I told Shane that he could have it and learn how to fly 3d but because it used to be in a bunch of pieces 
I'm gonna put it back in the air today and make sure it's flying okay before I just hand you a cursed plane to try and learn with. The thing about this plane is that it's kind of terrifying to fly. Um, the extra is way glidey and kind of floaty and not bad for a 3D plane. This isn't. This just falls out of the sky like a rock. So we'll see how it goes. All right. I'm boring. I guess it's safer than the one I just destroyed. It's just like no input required. Look at this. Look, I'm hands off. It's just kind of doing a circle. One thing I really love about the Sukhoi, it's discontinued now, so you can't get it, but they have this really convenient feature. It just folds up, so it's super easy to transport. Uh, yeah, it's, the thing is, you know, it's a little, a little floppy, but once you get it seated in, it's good. 